this is an issue that obviously is very close to my heart, um, being part of the one of the marginalized communities in our country, and um, that you know, verbal and physical attacks against Asians um, is not a new thing. However, since COVID nineteen, uh, we've all been aware of the drastic spike in hate crimes against Asians, and um, and. This has been something that's been breaking my heart. I think that there's always a risk of backlash whenever you are talking about things that trigger people. My hope is to always appeal to the goodness in everyone. And I do believe that people are inherently good. And when we made that plea, the plea was someone's mother was hurt. There are hate crimes against Asian Americans that have gone up 1900% just in this last year in New York alone. There is something going on and we need your help and we need everyone to get angry for us. We need help. Please help us. I'm not trying to be angry. I'm not, and I'm not angry. Um, I'm hurt and I'm scared for our people. And I think when you appeal to people from a place of humanity, people, people respond. And of course, they're going to be the people that want to be negative. But I, I do believe that the, the power of positive does drown out the negative for sure. And it has this time. We as the marginalized groups in our country. We are more than just a trend. We are more than a hashtag. Our existence matters. What's happening to us matters. And it, and it matters and it will happen to us after, long after the pandemic is gone if we don't do something about it now. And it's important that we see what's happening with our, with our Asian community that people, that we are being attacked. I mean, they're afraid to leave their homes. There are people that are just afraid to leave their homes and they're coming after the elderly. There can't, it's like you, you, you can't go after the most vulnerable in our community and get away with it. We want to be treated equally. We want to be seen equally. And, and, that, and, and that will happen. So whether there's pushback or not, um, it doesn't really matter because we are prepared for anything. And this generation, we will do right by our parents. We will make it better. She's recovering very well. Um, she, she was, she wasn't shaken per se. I want to say that she's glad that she is alive, and that uh, she she's happy that she's able to make it through this incident with a scar. But that's about it. Hopefully, still have to maybe double check on her cognitive abilities. But she seems to be doing fine. So.